in the spiritual realm, a battle rages unseen by our mortal eyes. It's a battle between forces of good and evil, between angels of light and angels of darkness. Today, let's take a moment to reflect on how these celestial beings interact with us, shaping our lives and influencing our choices. Angels, those heavenly messengers spoken of throughout Scripture, are sent by God to minister to His people. They bring messages of hope, protection and guidance. Their presence is often felt in times of need, offering comfort and reassurance to those who call upon the name of the Lord. But not all angels are benevolent. There are also fallen angels, those who rebelled against God and were cast out of heaven. These malevolent beings seek to deceive, tempt and lead us away from the path of righteousness. They lurk in the shadows, waiting for an opportunity to sow seeds of doubt and discord in our hearts. The interaction between good and bad angels is not merely a theoretical concept, but a reality that plays out in our everyday lives. We may not always recognize it, but these spiritual beings exert their influence upon us, subtly guiding us towards either light or darkness. Good angels stand as guardians, watching over us with unwavering devotion. They fight on our behalf, warding off evil forces and interceding for us before the throne of God. Their presence brings peace and protection, shielding us from harm and leading us towards the path of righteousness. Conversely, bad angels seek to lead us astray, tempting us with lies and deception. They exploit our weaknesses, preying on our fears and desires to lure us away from God's truth. Their ultimate goal is to separate us from the love of God and to rob us of the abundant life that He promises. But fear not, for we are not alone in this battle. God has equipped us with the tools we need to resist the schemes of the enemy. Through prayer, faith, and the power of His Word, we can stand firm against the attacks of the evil one and emerge victorious in the end. So let us be vigilant, dear friends, and keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Let us arm ourselves with the armor of God, knowing that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And let us take comfort in the knowledge that we serve a God who is greater than any adversary we may face. He is the Almighty, the Everlasting, the Alpha and Omega. With Him on our side we can be confident that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In closing, let us remember that the battle between good and bad angels is not confined to the pages of Scripture, but is a reality that unfolds before us each day. May we walk in the light of God's truth, trusting in His protection and provision as we navigate the challenges of life. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.